Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll show the cutting process of the stainless steel weave film. A lot of friends have been asking the question. If you do have such concern, don't miss this video. A bonus here to celebrate the double festivals. All orders will be point nine discount from twentieth. To 31 December. By the way, my Alibaba shop is online. Please click the link below in the description to have a trip there and get to know the cost for what you are looking for. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thank you. In the production of mental plates, in order to ensure the finish of the mental surface, many mental plates will be covered with a film on the surface. We'll see it commonly in door and window pieces and stainless steel plates. Today we have collected two kinds of coated plates. One is like this. You can see this viscosity of the film is not very good, and it's not a laser film. The other is one millimeter stainless steel with a laser film attached. We'll do the cutting test separately to see if it work. Don't skip. They are coming. First, we try this plate. What we really worried was the gas would blow away the film due to the low viscosity, and the truth gave its proof. Let's see the cutting again more closely. The parameter we used is correctly applying the defilm function in subcut, and the gas was nitrogen. It should be the suitable pressure for cutting. So we tried to cut down the gas pressure, but it turned out the plate couldn't be cut through. Then we changed to use oxygen with lower gas pressure. It succeeded, but there were slags at the backside. From the above test, we concluded if the film is not in very good adhesion to the stainless steel plate, the cutting will be not as well as expected. Let's see another plate cutting. We processed three ways to cut it: with defilm function, direct cutting, and the film downward. All were applied by the same parameters. I will show them at the last part. Let's see the first cutting with defilm function. We can see the cutting is complete, and the film is not detached or rolling up. Next is to cut the plate with film downward, so there is no defilm function. After tearing off the laminate on the surface, we found there was a slight slag a little bit. If we adjust the process a little, we can achieve the situation without slag. But here we won't make any more tries. Last, we made the direct cutting. We added the leading line. First, it was only lying as the leading line.
In this way, we can see clearly the film words "get off the plate," especially at the cross of leading line and start point, and there were also slacks. Then, for avoiding the slacks, we changed the leading line to arc. And the cutting was very good. No slacks, no film detached. And the key point is, we can enhance the cutting efficiency due to the direct cut. No extra time to make the cutting twice. In the last two tests, we just changed the type of leaves. Why did the cut make a difference? In fact, when adding a line lead, when it goes here, the system will automatically recognize run the sharp angle cutting process, which is to stop the laser and blow gas here and then cut. That's why we just saw that the surface film will be blown up and a little slag will appear. But if we quote the arc, there are no sharp corners. Is directly aligned. Know the process of stopping and blowing. In fact, this principle is the same as using the ring cut function to cut some pentagram shapes. At last, the parameters we used in the video. The machine in video is one thousand watt Max Photonics laser Hanley Taylor. Attention! The data shared is just for reference. Well, thanks for watching. If you are new here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button, give me your thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you still have the time, why don't you stick around and watch another video? Merry Christmas! See you. Bye. The next step is to download the free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.